you. Uh, this, this has been about a year that I've been doing this. Uh, I came out to SVBR back in 2014, maybe early February, and uh, I've been pushing virtual reality for such a long time. And uh, everybody thought it was like a mad scientist game. And nobody believed that it was actually like gonna happen. They saw no potential. And so I had this great idea for a wearable sensor that would let you walk in virtual reality, but nobody got the virtual reality part. So they couldn't get back to the wearable sensor analysis that I did. So um, anyways, I went to SVBR and I set up a little demo on the back. Hadn't really had any kind of uh, you know good words about this thing. And all of a sudden I have a line of people who are just sitting there waiting to try out my demo. And I, I got goosebumps. I had journalists you know, trying to get information from me and do interviews. And you know, all of a sudden I realized this is this is where I belong. Like, these are my people. Uh, just you know, virtual reality enthusiasts, the believers. So, you know, that's that's why I appreciate being here and having this opportunity to talk right now. Uh, because if it wasn't for SVR, I, I, I definitely would not be here uh, where I am today. So, let's talk about what I'm doing. Stomps. So, what is Stomps? Uh, this is a wearable sensor. We have a demo set up in the back. Uh, it's just like most virtual reality things, you have to try it to truly understand. So I'm going to give you an explanation of it, but really I'd appreciate if you actually go put them on and, and take a stroll through virtual reality. Because that's what we let you do, we let you explore it. Uh, so what we're doing is we're doing IMU-based tracking that takes your gestures and it inputs it as a game input. So basically like a keyboard or a gamepad that lets you just walk naturally and it does it takes care of the rest. So that's the idea. Nine degrees of freedom, uh, does the gesture recognition, and it's compatible with any game because it plugs in as a human interface device. Right, so because it plugs in as a keyboard or a gamepad, it automatically works with anything. So you can take a scroll through, uh, take a scroll through Skyrim, you can walk through a half-life. Uh, we have videos of my girlfriend doing that online. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, the, ha the hardware is the hackable part. So what we've done is we've made it so instead of SDKs or APIs, you actually customize the hardware itself. So you program the hardware based off of your gestures to do the things that you want. So we have focused on virtual reality locomotion. That's my passion. I have a history in it. But it also can be used for anything that you want. So you can hook it up as a flight controller or as a, a steering wheel and a foot pedal. So you could use the same inputs, the same IMU controls as keyboard inputs or a gamepad inputs to do whatever you want to do. So it's kind of our power, uh, the idea behind it. We have this uh, user interface here, really simple, basic. We do plan on coming out with an API or SDK. I know I just said that we're not going to do that. We're trying to help you by not making it portable to another game. But we, we're going to do both. All right? So the idea is we give you the raw inputs, but we'll also make it really simple for software developers who don't necessarily know how to take raw Excel along with that. So we'll also have modes set up so that we can do that flight control, so we can do that driving control, uh, anything that you want. Right now it's USB input, so anything that takes a USB this will work with. So Android, uh, PC, Mac, and it just plugs in and plays. So you don't have to do any kind of crazy configuration. You, know, you don't have to you know, beat your head against it to make it work. It's just going to plug in. Right? Uh, so that's, that's what we've been working on this time. We're going to make Bluetooth. I know we're sitting at Samsung. So to say it doesn't work with Bluetooth, it's kind of like keen them right now because you know, here we already packed that Bluetooth. It took away my USB port, so I'm going to put Bluetooth in it. Uh, that's, that is the answer uh, we're working on it right now. Uh, and like I said, our focus has been on VR, on running in virtual reality. So I've been doing this for about five years. Uh, these are all of my failed ideas, right? The old, the old crazies. Uh, I actually wore patents for most of these. Uh, the top left cage, like the little bird cage thing, was a supporting structure that lets you run around in virtual reality. You have omnidirectional wheels that you would strap to your feet. And it would let you, instead of like a roller skate, think of more like being barefoot on the ice, where you just kind of go whatever way that you could go, uh, break your ankles. You know what I mean? Terrible, terrible idea. So that, that went in the waste bucket. Down here, we have an omnidirectional treadmill, uh, slide mill. Uh, it's just a, a hubless supporting structure. I worked with a provisional patent for that back in 2012. That is made with a pair of shoes 
was some slick plastic on the bottom in an Alcoids can that held a wireless optical mouse that every time you push your foot back, it held you forward in space. Okay, so that, that was my original solution. You can see how showing that to some investors didn't really win me any points. So I, uh, I didn't get a lot of action, a lot of movement on that. So I just kept pushing forward, kept evolving. Uh, so I went to these ankle sensors up here, and that was the first thing I brought to SVBR back in the day. It was just two accelerometers. When you move your feet in a pattern, recognize that yes, this guy wants to go forward right now. Let him go forward. The power of it is that you can do it sitting down or standing. It doesn't matter as long as you can make the pattern. You're good to go. I had something with it. I knew I did. But there was a lot of barrier there for users. They didn't, they didn't like the simple movements. Because if you just move your right foot, you would strafe right. If you just move your left foot, you would strafe left. Strafing is very bad for virtual reality. Just if anybody's been in VR games, strafing makes you super safe. So just forward. Like that, that was the thing. Forward and backwards. Let you turn with your body. So that's what we went to. Stomps. Stomps is the, the the one that we're working on right now. It's that foot worn sensor that you saw on the very first slide, and it is a full solution. So after all of that development, all of that evolution, pivoting multiple times, changing how the form factor looks, iteration after iteration, why did we go with this solution, which is just a foot worn sensor? Took away all the furniture, made it super accessible, and that's the first one. On Person, hands free gameplay. Okay, we don't want the furniture. It's expensive. It's cumbersome. It's not white friendly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it really accessible. You can stick it in your pocket. You can walk to your friend's house. And you can still use it. We're also gonna make the movements natural. One of the best parts about it is that you're walking in place, just like you would. You know, if somebody told you to walk without going anywhere, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna walk. And that's the biggest problem with virtual reality, right? How do I let you run in virtual reality without you running smack into a wall? Right, and that, that, is, that is the difficulty. There's just a barrier there, right? So how do I solve that problem? The answer is that you don't join, right? That's, that is the solution. That's what everybody's doing. Follow um, me, you're, you're being constrained. It's keeping you in one spot, step. This way, if you get that one there, the realistic feedback, of your feet hitting the floor and you're actually getting that, I feel like I'm moving over. So it's that tactical, tactic feedback that says, yes, I'm running. Okay. Unrestricted movement. We have awesome things like, uh, first of all, the lighthouse. The lighthouse is coming out. That seems to be a big buzz for everybody. Um, uh, Valve just released this lighthouse, which is absolute positional tracking, massive volume. Of course, we have you know, Sixens who have been doing that for a long time. But what is the power of that? Absolute, the problem with absolute positional tracking is that it tracks you absolutely. Right? If you wanted to walk forward, you literally have to walk forward. Right? So it's going to track every single one of your movements. But what if I want to walk without actually moving, or without actually walking forward? You can't do it. Right? It won't let you, because again, it's tracking you absolutely. So where you move in that volume is where it's going to put you. So you have to do relative tracking. So that's the power of this, is that it does not give you any furniture, it does not hold you in one spot. So if you're doing something like Six Sense, or if you're doing something like Lighthouse, now you can actually run through those spaces, still take advantage of the position of tracking, and dive, duck, dodge, dip, and dodge. Right? And you can do all of that and still be running through your game. Thank you. Yeah, she's <laughs> And then lastly, it's affordable, right? So it's, it's you know, we, we use a simple idea and we made it kind of a, a brilliant use case. Because this is not some super high-tech, you know, solution. It's, it's, it's really kind of basic. You know, so we're, we're, we're taking the same sensors and we're reusing them, repurposing them in a new one. Alright? And then lastly, it's small. And I'm not talking about the actual device. Uh, in this case, I'm talking about us, uh, the team. We're small, I'm not small. But uh, the, the, the team is small, right? We're, we're little guys, we're, we're SVBR, you know, we've been here, grassroots, doing this for a long time, and uh, we've, we've been just trying to make it happen. So we're hustling. We, I just got back from Denver, I apologize, I'm kind of all over the place. We're in LA right before that. My demo's kind of half 
have talked right now because we, we have only parts of it, but uh, it's ready to go. So um, yeah, that's us. So what we need is, is our help. Kickstarter is going on right now. We, we can use your support. Uh, we're trying to make it happen. Um, and thank you to everybody in here who's already backed us. We really appreciate it. Kickstarters are crazy. And if you guys are planning on doing Kickstarter, please come see me. I have learned so much, so much about Kickstarter. It's good and bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have. Uh, also, if anybody here is doing software or you know working on any, any projects that you think would, could use some VR locomotion, we need content. We're dying for content. If you go over there, I'm not a software guy. I made this crappy little zombie game. It's a lot of fun. Come check it out. And uh, thank you.